Welcome to Vectorworks 2013, where creativity and evolution combine to deliver an exciting new release. Creativity is a process that lives in constant evolution, and designing and improving software follows a similar path. In fact, the Nemechek Vectorworks team has worked continuously to improve our platform and deliver the most comprehensive and versatile set of design software available to meet your industry's evolving demands. Vectorworks software remains the clear choice for design tools that are flexible, versatile, intuitive, and smart for one simple reason, because we never stop evolving. While we can't possibly fit all of the improvements we've made to version 2013 in this video, we've highlighted the most significant ones to capture the attention of your creative mind. We hope you're as excited about this new release as we are. Now let's dig in and explore some of the enhanced tools and features of Vectorworks Landmark. I'd like to turn the presentation over to our industry specialist who will walk you through the new features. Hello and welcome to Vectorworks 2013. As site design professionals, we've seen how our clients and jurisdictional regulations have changed the expectations of how we propose our designs for the landscape. As your process evolves, the tools you use to realize your creative visions need to evolve as well. We understand this need and we've worked throughout the past year to adapt the Vectorworks family of design solutions to support your practice. This year we broke up the new features into four groups. Leader in site design, improved efficiency, better 3D modeling, and enhanced interoperability. If you've used the survey input tool to bring coordinate data into Vectorworks Landmark from surveyors or perhaps your own site inventory, you can now speed up your workflow when creating your next site model. Landmark users can now take advantage of our new improvement by using locus points for the survey input process, thus offering yet another option for your site modeling needs. As we begin to create our site model, you'll notice that there are new abilities within the graphic settings to assign class visibilities to the elements of the site model. Whether you choose to keep just one class for the site model and only change the attributes for the existing and proposed contours, or make those elements become class-driven and create individual classes for each, you now have that option with 2013. We've made some simple name changes in the site model and site modifiers to help you better distinguish some of our well-known objects. For example, the greater and boundary site modifiers are now referred to as the spoil pile and grade limits. You'll also note that if you want to change the extents of your site model, the site border is called the site model crop. A new tool that's similar to the retaining wall site modifier is the site modifier known as pad with retaining edge. In this example, you'll see how a simple shape can be converted to this new site modifier object. This means you can easily assign a depth parameter and even a slope on that bottom surface. You can also provide a second ridge modifier, slightly offset, that can modify the surface to model site features like the excavation needed for this residential foundation. We're excited to see how users implement this tool to perhaps carve out space for a hardscape subgrade excavation. An improvement to the visualization of our site model is evident in this example in the pad modifiers. Notice that in the flattened surface, the site model does not subdivide it with triangulation. Therefore, our presentations appear as smooth as we expect in various rendering modes. Another new site model feature lets you create a level site modifying pad that's derived from an already present grade limit. For example, we can provide parameters for the battered slope angle which helps determine what the pad elevation and shape will be to achieve a balanced cut and fill. 
This balance provides an opportunity for you to promote sustainable site modifications where grading is concerned. VectorWorks Landmark users will also notice we've made some great upgrades and improved the functionality of a favorite tool, the plant object. Let's first take a peek at the new plant settings dialog. As we scroll through the settings options, you'll notice the new simplified layout and organization of the options. Much like other tools within Landmark, the object information palette can now be placed where you can navigate directly to object settings dialogs and where adjustments can be made to different object selections at once. We've granted your wishes by improving the plant object's rotation settings. Watch as this row of plant symbols recognizes and aligns to the winding path, providing a tangential relationship to the path. Another additional setting that's new for the plant object is how a group of similar plant symbols can now be represented with a randomized sizing setting. Choose from 5, 10, or 15 percent, and you can see how this provides enough visual variation to help make your plans appear less drafted and more handcrafted. As always, we've introduced many of the VectorWorks fundamental features in Landmark, and with 2013, we see a new, much requested feature we call Images in Worksheet Cells. With this new feature, we can select the worksheet in which we have a plant list started. Simply select the Insert Image function in the worksheet's drop down menu to see it automatically populate the worksheet with the designated symbols for each plant. Another requested feature realized in VectorWorks 2013 is the Align Leader Lines command. Site designers can spend less time making their smart objects look well organized by selecting the group of labels and by choosing the Align Distribute Leader Line command from the Modify pull-down menu. Once inside the Tools dialog box, you see that you have options for horizontal and vertical placement. So whether you'd like the target lines to be parallel or the shoulder lines to be equally spaced, you can make each scenario happen with this new command. In this example, where you're beginning your design process with a concept drawing like we see here, notice how a custom line type can be created, like putting the letters PL within a dashed line to represent the property line more clearly. Another use you'll enjoy is applying a custom line type to an existing line. As you can see, the new custom line type feature will make this happen intuitively, which means that your plans can carry through your personal design style more easily. Part of our design evolution includes the reliance on and incorporation of more web resources. VectorWorks 2013, for example, has a new hyperlink tool to create links within our design documents to direct the users of our documents to these web resources. As we see in this planning notes example, we can enable the hyperlink tool to create the specific text label and assign the exact link to that web page. In this particular case, the link will take you directly to some of the abiding standards held by the American Nursery and Landscape Association. Users of our documents, therefore, will now be able to gain immediate access to the same documents that we're referencing. Speaking of being organized, your list of classes can now be collapsed, just like you may be used to seeing in folders while browsing for files. Our engineers have restructured the organization palette to show classes with hyphenated names nested away. Making your overall class seem subcategorized based on similar root names shown within the class's name.
Whether you're working primarily in 2D or a combined effort of 2D and 3D within Vectorworks 2013, you'll notice a marked improvement in how the navigation works within your 2D and 3D workspaces. In this plan, we can pan from one area to another with more information being represented as we pan. While zooming, the same holds true. We see how the plan graphics and labels are clear and regeneration is practically instantaneous. In 3D wireframe, we can still see the smooth navigation as we pan around and zoom on the 3D model of the shade structure. Another way we've made 3D navigation easier is with the new clip cube feature. This tool lets us choose an object within our 3D model, such as the subgrade water harvesting tank, and view it in a manner that we normally would not see when flying over the model. Now with the clip cube tool enabled, we can choose the cube and select a side of the overall model to push and pull to get a better view of an otherwise hidden object. This works well when we have 3D models that obscure our view of things we want to access. In Vectorworks 2013, you can effortlessly import complex models created in Rhinoceros. The addition of direct import and export support for Rhino 3DM files lets you collaborate with the Rhino application and further your design and documentation within Vectorworks. You asked and we listened. With Vectorworks 2013, we've added several improvements and capabilities to the DXF DWG import and export process that will dramatically improve the interoperability process. Now you can export Vectorworks 3D objects as 2D flattened graphics in the DWG model space. A new command lets you do a batch export for DWG DXF from multiple files at the same time. A new option allows you to make 2D and 3D conversion resolution adjustments during DWG DXF imports. A new option lets you choose true RGB or index colors on DWG DXF exports. A new DWG DXF import feature improves the speed of your imports by alerting you when complex hatches with multiple boundaries are found. This alert gives you the option to skip importing the hatch, convert the hatch to lines, or proceed with the import. And you can now import and export the Autodesk DWF file format. This means users will now have an even greater flexibility to interoperate and collaborate with others in both 2D and 3D. With RenderWorks 2013, you can now easily work with additional popular 3D applications with added file export options. With the new Collada export option, you can collaborate with applications such as Google Earth, ArcGIS, and SketchUp. In addition, the support of FBX file export lets you easily work with 3D Max and other modeling tools. As we've demonstrated in this brief video, Vectorworks 2013 is an exciting new release that will help you take your designs to the next level. And we know that once you explore all the positive evolutions that Vectorworks has to offer, you too will agree that it remains the best software to help you realize your most inspired visions. Streamline your workflows, improve your efficiency, evolve with Vectorworks 2013.